everyone, and welcome to the 35th episode of Dragon Quest Slime Time, the official Dragon Quest Dragon's Den podcast. This is Plenty M3. And this is Liam Land. Tonight we have a very special exclusive interview for you. You know, you may know him as the creator of all things Dragon Quest. Joining us today from Tokyo, Japan, Mr. Yuji Hori. Hello. Thank you for inviting me. It is an absolute honor, sir. Yes, I, I'm gushing right now. I, thank you so much for doing this. We're such huge fans. Sure. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Hori-sensei, uh, how did you come up with Dragon Quest? Well, I was looking for a way to inspire Final Fantasy into existence, and I thought this would be the best way to do it. Oh. Okay. Um, do you have a favorite Dragon Quest that you've worked on? I love 3, 5, and 11. But my absolute favorite has to be Dragon Quest Monsters Caravan Heart. Love. Love that hunger mechanic. I, I do hear that's popular among the fan base. Hell, Hell yeah, it is! Woohoo! <laughs> So we've seen some photos of your office and how it's reskinned to look like a Dragon Quest castle. Can we have a tour sometime? No, absolutely not. I mean, it's hidden for a reason. If I wanted you nerds there, I'd have put it on Airbnb. So what would you say our chances are of getting Dragon Quest X in the West? 100%. If you import it, I think Play Asia has it. Uh, they do, actually. I bought it there three times. Yeah. I just played the free version one on my Switch digitally. Well, I do believe I know which co-host I prefer. Thank you. Uh, well, along those same lines, what's your favorite Dragon Quest podcast? I'd have to go with Puff Puff Hour. Uh, oh, well, I was kind of hoping you were going to say us, but yeah, yeah, we like those guys too. Deborah. It's Deborah that puts them over the top, right? I mean, or was it Ragnar McFucking Ryan? Damn it! I knew we should have gone with the Newman Damned, modifucking filthier version of this podcast. I told you, Liam. I told you, I clicked that explicit tag on all these damn podcasts. We might as well get our sailor tongues worth out of it. Oh, okay, okay, platy, platy. We can talk about this later. Let's calm down a little bit. Let's stay on script. You know, we got the creator of Dragon Quest here. I mean, we we also don't want Square Enix to pull our press passes. Fine, fine. All right, let me let me just click here and find my place. Um, okay, so what got you interested in doing fan translations of the 3DS monster games? Fan what now? <laughs> Episode, oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, of course. Horisan, do you have any favorite characters or monsters? Frankenstein's monster. Although, growing up, we just called him Frankenstein before people got all pretentious about the name and started calling you out about the specifics. Um, what about Dragon Quest monsters or characters? Oh, no, not really. I don't play many video games. Interesting. Um, okay, let's try this. Looking back, what are your thoughts on Dragon Quest, and how would you like to be remembered? Look, guys, this has been great, but I gotta go do some Hori Sensei stuff. All right, keeping it short and sweet, I admire that. Well, sir, it has been an absolute honor having you here. I, I hope we can do it again sometime. Uh, not likely. Well, I guess that's already it for this episode of Slime Time. Uh, we do want to thank our guest, Yuji Hori, for joining us today. Thank you so much, Yuji Hori, for all that you've done to create the world of Dragon Quest, uh, for all that you've done for the fans, and for your forgiving sense of humor. Yeah. Um, you know, Liam, I was kind of surprised. I've seen him in older interviews. His English has gotten really, really good. Yeah, yeah. He's really nailed that upstate New York accent. Yeah, true. Can't wait to see uh, what kind of accent we have when next week joining us, our guest will be Koiji Sujiyama. Yama, sorry. Talking about the start of his international apology tour. I hear it won't be orchestral either. <laughs> so by now you might have noticed that the only time we mention Patreon is when we say we don't use Patreon. We're just longtime fans that want to speak about the game series we know and love so much. If you have any money you'd like to donate consider sliding on over to the Dragon's Den at www.wudis.com slash den and click on support this site. Wudis has owned and maintained the Dragon's Den fan site for over 20 years, and I'm sure he'd appreciate any donation. Or you can use his Amazon affiliate link to make any purchase, uh, especially ordering like Dragon Quest 11s, um, any of the 3S games, anything that's on there. He's got a lot of links. 
use those and a small fraction of the sale will go to support the den. And if you're an advertiser looking for a great podcast to spend lots of ad revenue on, reach out to us at slimetimepodcast at gmail.com. If you have any comments or questions, you can find us on Twitter at platym 3 or at Rearmo Celestrian or hit, us, hit both of us up simultaneously at DQ Slime Time. Consider joining in tons of DQ discussions at the Dragon's Den forums, one of the few remaining DQ forums still around. You can find it from the Dragon's Den main page or just go to www.wudis.com slash forums or perhaps consider joining us on our Dragon's Den Discord as well that you can find the link in the show notes. We would like to thank everyone that has made this possible, like Brian, a.k.a. Wudis, for his support of the series and this podcast and keeping the Dragon's Den lights on for decades now. Thanks to Amanda LaPree and the Descendants of Erdrick for allowing us to use their music for our podcast. Descendants of Erdrick is a video game tribute band from Austin, Texas. Check them out and their recent album, Advent, at www.descendantsofurdrick.com or on Twitter at diaverdrick. And check out Amanda LaPree streaming on Twitch. Our thanks to Dwayne Bullock, our wonderful graphic artist, Dragon Quest fan, for making the awesome artwork cover from the podcast. Dwayne was on the original iteration of Slime Time, and he was actually on our last episode co-hosting. You can check out more of his work at Dwayne Art on Instagram or his website, DwayneBullockArt.BigCartel.com. And if you're looking for more Dragon Quest Slime Time, check out our earlier episodes on Dragon Sen, Anchor FM, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Bye, everyone. Dragon Quest Slime Time, sliming off. Oh, hey, look at this. We got a full-on Marvel movie-style post credit scene. We have credits. Okay, so the guy we just interviewed was not actually Yuji Horii. I wasn't? <coughs> I wasn't? I'm not him? Sorry, dude. Yeah, th so this was just an April Fool's Day gag showing you what it might be like if we actually had Hori sensei on. Well, I hope his answers would be better than that stuff that we just wrote. <laughs> Anyway, if you're if you're that one guy who actually believed that we just interviewed the creator of the entire Dragon Quest franchise, sorry to burst your bubble. Yeah, ouch. Uh, we do, however, want to keep our options open open to having the real Yuji Hori on the podcast someday. You know, if he's not too busy you know, making the new Dragon Quest Monsters game or maybe even Dragon Quest Twelve. Yes, please. Uh, this is an open invite to Yuji Hori to join us on the podcast, even though we know realistically that will most likely never happen. Though so that'd be one interesting game of Mary Thwack Puff Puff. Oh, very true.